it is such a a strategic and uh, a, really a creative means to defend and advance the truth of Scripture in our time. And and you speak all over the country and the world on this subject, Ken. Um, you know, the Ark Encounter is one way to bring people to this recognition of the truth that, you know, what we read in the Bible are actual historical events and that there are implications to what you do with all these stories in the Bible there. That's your new Republican Speaker of the House nut job, Mike Johnson, saying how the Ark Encounter, which is a theme park that's dedicated to creationism, is actually a way for people to realize that what you read in the Bible are actual historical events. But wait, there's more. Or the Congress has the, the constitutional authority to limit the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court in certain areas. They could say, theoretically, if, the, if their political will was there, if we, if we pushed the issue, the Congress could say, you know what, we don't want the federal courts to be able to decide the issue of marriage. That is reserved to the people. It always has been since time immemorial, and it should stay that way. You usurp their authority, and so we're going to take it away from you. There he is floating an idea of how you can get rid of the Marriage Equality Act and stop gay marriage. But wait, there's more. Tonight, dangerous. That's how former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney describes the new House Speaker Mike Johnson. Cheney wants sharing an adjoining office with Johnson on Capitol Hill so she knows him. And it comes as CNN's Cape File has uncovered details about Johnson's history with a group that promoted gay conversion therapy, a long debunked theory that gay people could be made straight. Here is some of what he said in the past. It's time for an honest conversation about homosexuality. There's freedom to change if you want to. There he is advocating conversion therapy. That's right. If you're gay, they can convert you out of it. But wait, there's more. Well, what's happened, Alex, over the last 60, 70 years is that our generation has been convinced that there's a separation of church and state. Right? Mm -hmm. You heard that term right. all the time. And most people think that that's part of the Constitution, mm -hmm. but it's not. Remember, I'm a constitutional lawyer. I'm and there he is arguing that the separation of church and state is a bad thing and that, that we should have it come together. Church and state should be together because you should have more church in state. That's a great idea. Yeah, Mike, uh, all over the world, wherever they've mixed church and state, it's really worked out well. Uh, you know, like the Islamic Republic of Iran, which is where I was born. Oh, it's going great. Yeah, theocracy is a great way to go. That's what Mike Johnson wants. Mike Johnson, the more you learn about Mike Johnson, the more scary he becomes. He looks good. He looks very innocuous. Hair's perfect. Where's the tie, the suit, everything looks clean, innocuous, harmless, and yet he wants to get rid of gay marriage. He is had uh, ties to Christian nationalism, which again pushes for more Christianity and religion in the state. Um, he is uh, he's wanting to, uh, he believes in creationism. He believes that the earth started 6,000 years ago. This is a guy who believes in this fantasy, but he's the leader of of the Republicans. He's the Speaker of the House. Oh my gosh. He is one of the architects of trying to steal the election for Donald Trump. That's right. The leader of the Republicans is one of the guys who tried to steal the election for Donald Trump. So all of this to say, this guy is a bad dude and he gets worse and worse the more we find out. He wants to make America a religious dictatorship. He wants to take us to the Handmaid's Tale because for him, that would be great. He's happy that women don't have the right to choose. He wants to eliminate more uh, uh, LGBTQ rights. I'm sure he is against uh, other religions having certain freedoms because why? He's a Christian nut job. So take it from me, folks. You don't want this. Trust me. Look at what's going on in Iran right now. Before the Islamic Revolution, Iran had problems. It had its own problems, but it was not as crazy as it is now. Women now have to cover themselves up in Iran. Um, a lot of rights of other minorities has been taken away. Any kind of religious minority, they go after the Baha'is, they go after uh, a lot of different uh, 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 religions. Um, and it's a, it's a really dark place. So that's what Mike Johnson wants for this country. He wants a country where religion rules, where these crazy, wacky things that you read in the Bible, he says, are all history. Sure, there was probably some historical figures that exist in the Bible, but a lot of that crazy stuff did not happen. He thinks, based on that uh, first clip that we showed you where he's talking about this amusement park, the, uh, the Ark, Ark Encounter, he thinks that dinosaurs were pets. Yeah, he's kind of cuckoo. And yet, he's the leader 
of the Speaker of the House of the Republicans. Well, he's the leader of the, all of Congress. He's the Speaker of the House. So how do we avoid this, folks? The way we avoid it is you register to vote, you vote, vote blue, don't vote cuckoo, and don't vote for somebody who's an election denier. Don't for, vote for somebody who is nuts like this guy, like your Marjorie Taylor Greens, like your Lauren Boberts. Lord told me to have guns and, 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 and Christianity, guns and barbecues, guns and, and everything, but no rights to others. This guy's a nut job. Guys, I'm Maz Jobrani. I'm a comedian. I tour all over the country. Come see me live, and I promise you, we will have separation of church and show. There will not be any religion in the show. I mean, maybe I'll talk about it a little bit, but not a lot. You know what I'm saying?